Hi. Yeah, it's um, been a while. Sorry about that. Um, just been going through some stuff. Um, been um, on a mental roller coaster for a for a while. Ultimately, anxious and depressed and angry and sad and uh, just um, just dealing with some issues and not uh, wanting to really deal with much of anything, so and work hasn't been helping, so turning 57 didn't really help my frame of mind either, but whatever. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and do a, a, a writing vlog. Don't know how long it's going to go, but um, I'm just going to Every, I'm gonna try every day to record a little bit of something about what I what I what I've been writing in that time, or if I've managed to write anything, or whatever else might be on my mind at that moment. Um, a couple things: um, all my books are on sale uh, through uh, the end of July through Smashwords, and unfortunately, Smashwords only it is only. Um, uh, it is only ebooks. Um, uh, through Smashwords, I'll have the, the link down below. The sale is running through uh, July thirty first. Um, all the books are it's uh, fifty to seventy five percent off, depending on the book. Uh, prices average anywhere from a buck to a buck fifty. So there is it. There, there's that. Um, uh, please go. Pick up a copy of whatever catches your eye. If anything catches your eye, uh, please leave a review. Um, I have been, um, I actually finished the first part of um, The Fast Fading Light. Got to the point where they were on their way to this anomaly that they have to investigate. The problem was, it was not working. Uh, there was something about it that was just nagging at. Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. It was just nagging at me, uh, and just would not uh, let me go. What I came to figure out was the planet that my uh, main characters have traveled to uh, in the star system, where this anomaly is is manifested. Um, originally they had a, a very strict cast system and I was having some trouble differentiating between the casts. So I went back and, um, cleared out the cast system and removing the cast system entirely. Uh, I suppose you could still say there is kind of a cast system because there's all the rest of the, there's all the citizens and then there's the drones. Drones are the workers, and why they're separated out is come clear through the story. Um, excuse me. Yeah, it's another thing I've been I've been dealing with. Uh, I hear that I hear there's this thing called sleep. I, I hear tell of it, but I get to experience it myself. But um, so I've gone back and I'm going back through it now uh and I'm, I'm i'm swearing to myself that this is the last time i'm doing this because if i keep going back and rewriting the the first third i'll never get the other two thirds finished i mean i know essentially what happens as i you know going forward through the through the rest of the story sorry excuse me uh, going forward through the rest of the story, I know what happens in a you know in a, in a kind of a general sense. Um, you know, of course, and then the specifics will be figured out as we go along. So I know basically what happens. I, I just have to get there. Um, I also managed to finally get caught up on Under the Dark of the Moon. I rewrote it 
up to the end of cha- up to the end of chapter twenty two, which is where I uh, got up to and stopped uh, previously. And I again, same thing. I know in general what happens in chapters twenty three to the end. Uh, it's just a matter of getting there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little plotting there. Um, I'm also, uh, when I feel the, when I, when I get stuck on one of those two, I have, uh, two other projects, uh, the story of harmony and melody more, um, in, um, in Thine Own Image, which is their story, and Wesley's story to a degree also. And there's also, uh, I've changed the title of this story so many times, uh, but I'm kind of liking the story. It's called In the Mirror Looking Out. And uh, it's uh, the story of um, of uh, another EarthGov courier, this one with Division 2. Uh, she's accused of murder. And she's trying to clear herself with the help of, uh, of an internal affairs agent. Or was she accused of murder? Um, I finished the first, did the first edit on um, my soul to keep. Um, there are still some, there's still going to, there's still a lot of work. The, the middle still kind of sags a little bit. And then there is, uh, at the end, uh, a little bit of a rush. And some um, hand waving, uh, some parenthetical statements that I have, you know, just a, a quick parenthesis paragraph summarizing. Okay, this happens here in paragraphs, usually in red, uh, that have to be flashed out. So that that'll be done. But you know, that's the advantage of being self published. I don't have a deadline. Um, and um, that's it for now. And um. Hopefully, going forward, I'll, uh, I try. Every, every week I say I got to do it. I, I would say I have to do another video, and, and every week goes by, and nothing gets up, and, and I'm sorry, but I, I will try. So um, that's it uh, for now, and see you later.
let's see, what have I been up to? Um, still plugging away on um, uh, the fast fading light. Uh, trying to get this uh, first part straightened out. It's it's coming along. Once I get once I get through this, I should be able to uh, uh, continue forward. The problem I've been having uh, this week, though, is that um, I've been on a uh, mental roller coaster the entire week. I have gone through. I've gone from meh, to angry, to depressed, to anxious, to you name it. I've felt it, and it's not been a fun week. I've been staying in bed later than I should. So, yeah. Um, but I'm still plugging away. I want to get this, get caught up on Fast Fading Light. Then I have, uh, then I want to do some plotting. Not actually a plot outline, I don't. I don't do that, but I just want to try and get uh, some story beats worked out so I know what's, uh, so I have a general idea where I'm going. I mean, I know where most of the stories end. I know where the fast fading light ends. I know where um, Under the Dark of the Moon ends. Um, I have a vague, very vague idea of where, um, uh, in thine own image and uh, in the mirror looking out uh, ends. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully once uh, once this rewriting is finished, I'll be able to uh, get that going and just uh, continue uh, chugging forward. Um, finally managed to sell the first two books. Um, while they're on sale. Um, I don't know how much, how long I'm going to go with this, uh, but if it's before January, um, not January, July 31st, uh, 2020, uh, the books will be on sale through, um, through Smashwords. And, uh, I'll put a link down below, um, uh, for that. Um, So yeah, that's that's about it for right now. I'm um, getting ready to pop a melatonin and uh, try and sleep through the night. Um, oh yeah, I know what I wanted to mention. Um, I at one point uh, on a previous video I talked about the worst book I ever written, I have ever read. Excuse me. Um, but one I one of these days I may talk about. Uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, book, which is not surprisingly a, a Heinlein book. Uh, it's it's my favorite. It's the one that struck uh, a chord with me. Well, all all his all his books do. I I I, I learned a lot about writing from reading Heinlein. Uh, mostly, uh, you know, write it in plain English, actually. <laughs> and um, so. But we'll talk about that down the uh, down the road, and um, talk to you uh, talk to you later. Bye.
the hardest part of writing is trying to interpret my own handwriting.
it's um it's been a few days since the last uh time I recorded anything um still plugging away on uh uh redoing the the first part of the fast fading light uh, it's coming along pretty well I should have that done uh pretty quickly then I have to really put in some effort into uh well doing what passes for plotting for me and that's just making up notes uh for um the fast fading light and um under the dark of the moon uh i am also uh thinking of uh getting into um dissembler which is the uh, a direct sequel to um uh on a cold wind uh originally there were four uh four stories uh, that were going to cover the Ephraim Bartok arc uh, of, uh, of Carly's life. Now I've decided it's going to be two. Uh, Bartok's uh, story will seemingly end at uh, at the end of uh, December. Or it might not. We'll have to see how that goes. Um... So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I don't know how much more I'm going to record for this, um, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, just been been dealing with uh, dealing with some issues lately. I've been um, um, depressed a lot. My depression has really been. Um, Rearing its ugly head lately, so I, I just just trying to, to work on. I'm trying to read um, a lot also. I might I might do a, um, a quasi booktube video down the road about what I'm reading right now uh, because I got some graphic novels, trade paperbacks actually um, that I picked up for my birthday and. Um, uh, one of the one of the three books I'm reading right now also is is actually turning out to be very interesting as well. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I have to um, I have to see how um, my mental state goes because I'll, I'll have days when I'll say yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna going get a video recorded and then it's like no so. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. And um, talk to you later. Hey, it's me. It's uh, Sunday the 19th. Um, I was thinking about just carrying on some more for the for this little blog thing that I'm doing, but I um, decided I'm just going to end it here. Uh, put together what we've got, so, um, yeah, uh, sorry, just, um, still dealing with, uh, some issues, so, uh, I've been awake for almost two and a half hours, and I'm, I'm nervous and tense, and I don't know why, but, okay, excuse me. Still plugging along on um, the fast fading light. Still uh, starting to plot out what comes after in the fast fading fading light, and also what comes next in uh, under the dark of the moon. And um, you know, hopefully that'll uh, get running, and hopefully I'll get my life together and and. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Um, if you're watching this before July 31st, uh, 2020, uh, the books are all on sale in uh, Flash, uh, Smashwords. The books are all available through um, uh, Smashwords, uh, 50 to 75% off. Uh, I'll put a link down below. 
Um, if you're watching this after July 31st, 2020, yeah, they'll be on sale again. And, um, thanks. Um, uh, sorry I'm not getting videos up as regularly as I used to. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff right now. And I'll, I'll talk to you, um, hopefully soon.